Hephaestus. Yeah. How predictable. Oh, yes. I know your name. Your past. And most importantly, about Cordova. Tell me, where did he hide the holocron? Outstanding. Okay, we have a fun fight on our hands. That means nothing. I think the performance is amazing. Ooh, okay. Her pose is so cool. I love her posture. Come on, fight me. Fight me, second sister. Ah! This is gonna take a few tries, I think. Is that old? Let me try to switch back to controller. See if this will. Uh, this will work now. My hands are starting to hurt. There we go. Yeah, there we go. It's working now. Let's fight the second sister. She try to attack me in the elevator? She will. You can't win. Accept it. That was nothing. Nope. I'm the superior fighter. She's cool. <laughs> You'll die of failure. Sorry, I'm having to focus. Little help, BD. Oh. Hell yeah, BD one. as gifted as Sears' last apprentice, but not bad. You've been keeping count. I'm surprised she didn't tell you. Sarah was never good at keeping secrets. And do you know her so well, huh? <laughs> she was weak. 
cracked in an imperial torture chair, surrendered the location of her naive Padawan. They would never have found me. If it wasn't for her, she betrayed me. This game is full of hot people. <laughs> so sure are you? When faced with a choice to protect herself or her Padawan, she chose self-interest. She'll sell you out too. Well, I can handle myself. Can you afford to take that chance? Your new master harbors great darkness. The look on her face when she saw what they had done to me, as I am now. She turned, exposing her true nature. She used the dark side. She cut herself off from the Force. Oh? How long before she cracks and betrays you too? Is that who you want beside you when you find the Holocron? What would Jaro Tapal say? You have no right to mention his name. I wonder, what would he think if he could see his Padawan now? Skulking in the shadows with a betrayer, granting her access to a legion of impressionable students. No. I won't let anyone touch them. I thought the same thing once. Trilla is so cool. She is such a cool character. Oh man, I like her. The second sister revealed that she was once Seer's Padawan, Trilla, whose location Seer gave up under Imperial torture. Trilla was found by the Empire and transformed into an Inquisitor. Interesting. Then says, in the EU, Imperial Knights have white, showing their connection was simply to do with duty and took no personal side in the Force, unity in the color with their comrades. Ah, yeah, so I think that's, that's canon, or that's not canon, that's Legends then, if it was in the old EU. Nice, okay, so we've made it down here. Man, Trilla rocks. I love, I love that character. I think she is so cool. You saved my life. And got us closer to the tomb. Oh. That was not a lethal fall. I didn't even get any skill points for that fight. I guess I didn't actually beat Trilla, right? We had yet another cannot win fight against her, but we did better this time. It only took us two tries. Nice, nice work on us. I actually think she's harder in the first encounter, uh, just cause like a single hit takes away all of your health and you have like no stim. We found it. it feels different than the other tomb. Oh, look at that. I don't know. I don't like it. The tomb of Mictrol. Cool. We're going to learn, learn a new force ability here, which will help us greatly, I'm sure. I found it, but Seer, why didn't you tell me? Because she's a liar. Do. How? I rerouted communication the moment you tried to contact her. Slicing encrypted transmissions was always a pastime. Slicing encrypted transmissions was always a pastime of hers. She taught me. There's no technique Sarah has that I haven't perfected. While it was true that the Empire was closing in on the tomb of Mictrol, Cal rushed to Zepho to find himself caught in a trap laid by the second sister. She revealed herself to be Trilla, Seer's former Padawan. After a perilous battle, Trilla seemed to get the upper hand on Cal, but before she could strike him down, BD-1 intervened, positioning an unbreakable laser field between Trilla and Cal. As Cal escaped into Mictrol's tomb, he tried to call Seer, but was interrupted by Trilla slicing his calm. Wow, 
I thought I could do it when it was attacking. Oof. Little help, BD. Then says, in Star Wars, I wonder who the first person to have the Force was. The Force is a living construct. It, uh, it has a... There are creatures that are one with the Force, so they've just kind of always been around. The first uh, humanoid to have the Force uh, was maybe... It's like maybe 25,000, 30,000 years beforehand, um, at the very least. That's the period of the Old Republic. Now, there is a movie coming out about this. They just announced it uh, yesterday. We're getting a movie about the first Jedi, which, granted, might not be the first person with the Force, but it might be the first Force user as we know of it. Oh, man, this thing's all messed up. I don't know if we'll be able to use it. Yeah, we won't. how cool this is. So neat. My friend, these devices appear to simulate this planet's gravitational pull. I can't help but see... This, uh, I can't help but see it as a motif. This place, less a tomb and more a temple to one ruler's pride. I found repeated glyphs with the same word, astrium, always near damaged statues. I believe this astrium was once a ubiquitous sacred symbol, perhaps even linked to the vault. It as a motif. Ben says, I apologize for my questions. I'm just not well versed in Star Wars lore. I mean, that's fine. I don't think anyone's judging you for not knowing Star Wars lore. <laughs> I had no idea about any of this until I got super into it. Like, it's just a matter of, uh, just a matter of knowing. All right, let's rest. No one is You're born. Uh, For what? My scouts located an artifact of interest at the rear of this tomb. Even now I'm studying it, <coughs> learning his secrets. It seems Cordova was rather taken with these Zepho. Perhaps enough to hide the holocron amongst their bones. Yeah, we'll see how much you learn. George Lucas is a creative dude. He was. He has very little to do with Star Wars now, but uh, his work on the movies, the, the original trilogy and the prequels, set the stage for quite a lot of uh, cool expanded fiction that other people could kind of develop into cool things. to slice this, get something new. That's how you do it. <laughs> A relic from the ancient Zeppo. I sense great vanity and extravagance in this period of their history. The Zeppo relic from an age symbolized by vanity, extravagance, and power. What is it, BD? Ooh, greasy money. What's that look like? Ooh, yeah, that's a good one. We like that. BD. We got some new BD ones, didn't we? I guess not. It's been a while.
Wow, that was a sick sheathing animation. <laughs> Okay, that's neat. Can't interact with that yet. What do I do with this? Can't interact with that. Neat, okay. Ben says, one thing I do know about Star Wars is that the current Darth uh, Maul design was not what was originally intended. I mean, Darth Maul as a character, if you want to talk about things that weren't originally intended, that character has grown so much over time. Uh, from his revival, quite literally, in Clone Wars to, uh, you know, who he appeared to. Uh, what he appeared as uh, with the Shadow Collective. I mean, he was the Mandalore at one point, the leader of the Mandalorians. This is a character that has gone many places. I'm over here, buddy. Chill. <laughs> Bass says, a sick what animation toaster? You know, sheathing. Light sheath play. Uh, do I want to go over here? I don't think so. Not yet, at least. Oh. Playing on a controller is much less precise, but definitely helps with my my old man joints. Uh, I wanted to explore out here. Little hole in the ground over there. Look at that. Just a hole in the terrain. ourselves some experience all right so we can't grab that chest yet we need to be able to burn through those vines which will take us a little while so I guess we do have to go over here very good we're thorough at least no one can say we are not thorough all right no okay try to we can do it. We can do it this time. Yep. Come on, Cal. There we go. That's the big league chew. We like that. <laughs> More of my soldiers breach this tomb every minute afraid to face me yourself had your droid not intervened i would have killed you with ease it's okay buddy just ignore her i mean she's not wrong her people do entreat in this tomb even further uh by the minute but also they're dumb and they keep getting murdered by rats <laughs> I saw it, all right. This will be fun. I guess so, huh? It's a real disaster for you. Thank you. 
Right here, BD. <laughs> I can wait as long as it takes. I was out of force juice. I'm not sure why Keith was always running out of it. You're not getting out of here alive. I have, I have quite a lot of it. It's, it's rare for us to run into a situation where I don't have it at least accessible for one or two enemies. Oof. Tougher than anticipated, he says as I kick him off the cliff. <laughs> There's something just just darkly comedic about that. That's enjoyable. I should have gone back to Bagano. I think there was one or two things I could have grabbed there, but we're fine. Jedi. Ah, Spot on. you sneaky fuck. <laughs> Feeling so great, PD. Oh, great timing. All right, I need to throw something into that. That should be. Oh, I see. That should be simple. When they were first designing Darth Maul, George said An ancient he Zabonian, was who? part of a workforce that helped construct this tomb. They died before the job was finished. That checks out. Uh, George said, uh, or described him as a figure from your worst nightmare, and designer Ian McCabe took that and went with it. He said his worst was a dark face pressed against a window during a thunderstorm. He had blue skin, metal teeth, and strips of blood red hair. George said that was too intense and asked him to draw his second worst nightmare. Okay, that's interesting. I think it's really cool that Darth Maul's design has like evolved over time to he I mean he as a character himself has changed quite a bit but he's also inspired like the whole Zabrak race of characters uh, which is kind of neat all right this is what we got to do do that interact that way all right look at that uh, can I get anything for walking out over here or is this just a yeah that just gets me back there without needing to have access to the thingy the the button okay there we go Ben says I missed what you said I was in an ad break uh, I just read what you said out loud uh, but I also said it's just it's cool that you know, what was basically a bit character got turned into an entire race and culture in the Star Wars universe with the Zabraks and the Night Sisters and the Night Brothers and, uh, you know, the prize fighters, stuff like that. Like, they have a lot of lore to them that's actually pretty cool. How the hell did a Falak get down here? There we go. All right, we did it. Yay. Imagine the artifacts the Empire would have missed if it weren't for your intervention on this backwater planet. I'm sure it's worth the cost. I hear Project Augur came at a high price. Stormtroopers and workers. Expendable resources. You're a monster. I am what there made me. <laughs> I need to 
get the fire down there. How do I do that? How do we go about that game? Hmm. Okay, so it's not down there. I do see a pathway that leads from that little crevice over to there, but I don't know if that gets me anything. At least not right here. I probably need force pull to grab that. I should use that. them up. So much for just using that uh that bonfire right there. Getting dinged by one of those, I guess, isn't the worst thing that could possibly happen to me. But I would have liked to get through that without taking any damage. That would have been what was preferable. Alright, can't go down there yet. I've taken the artifact back to my ship for analysis. Pity you couldn't make it in time. Doesn't matter what you steal. You'll never understand it. Yet you do? You'll find out soon enough. I'll take those odds. All right. What is... Okay, I can't interact with that. Not yet, at least. Guess we're just gonna have to do this the hard way. We're gonna need to jump and climb. Oh my god, imagine making that jump. I would pee myself. I would be terrified. Oh, <laughs> no. I would not feel confident whatsoever. Could not pay me to do that. Don't think I need to worry about those anymore.
let's see. Anything down there? They haven't seen us. Keep your guard up. Okay, I can't knock them off from over here. That's fine. We're well on our way, though. Well on our way towards making, uh, making it through this temple. We haven't even been playing for very long yet today. It's only been about two and a half hours. I noticed something while examining this sarcophagus. It's yeah. <laughs> a very convenient location to dispose of nuisances. You lured me here. Was this your plan all along? You truly have the wits of a scrapper. Interesting. Like hieroglyphics. Oh God. Good idea. That's it. Not today. Your attacks are weak. You're dead. You're quite agile. You're going down. Right here, BD. Not our lightsaber. No, we can't lose that. Padawan, where is the force? Everywhere. It is within me. It surrounds me. Just so. It connects you. Huh. There will be times when emotion, pain, or exhaustion trick you. You will feel cut off, isolated. This is an illusion. Your lightsaber lies there out of reach, but you remain connected through the Force. Feel that energy around you, and summon your weapon. That's a, uh, that's a really elegant lightsaber. Look at that. I'll try to recreate that. Forces within you, around you, connecting you to your weapon. You must ignore all distraction. The force is with me. It connects us. Yeah, I think so. All right. Found ourselves a vine. <laughs> Alright, so now we can traverse a lot more than we used to be able to. Thanks to our connection to the spirit wind, as the, uh, or the life wind, as the Zepho called it. What else is there? Is there anything? Guess we just climb up there. Survived. Not part of your oh. plan. Not How did I? I always allow contingencies. Nope. Oh. 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 <laughs> I guess, uh, guess I wasn't supposed to be able to climb on there. <laughs> I guess the question becomes, what do I use to burn that? Oh, there, are, there's fire right here. Okay. Oh, cool. What the? Oh, we caught ourselves. Okay. All right. Well, that makes sense. That that checks out. The 
new skills are available. Ah, let's see what we can level up now. Maximum life increase, more life recovered from stims. BD1 stim canisters completely refill your force meter. That's very powerful. Huh. We do want howling push. We do want grasping pull. I want to be able to throw my lightsaber because these were all the abilities I didn't get last time I played. <laughs> Switch attack. Perform a special attack while switching his lightsaber type. We're going to get that. Now we have the Bloodborne Transform attack. All right, from here on out, we're going to really need to get skill points because uh, boy, howdy, are we starved for them. Have we already been in here? I think we have. I want to make it back around to that area that we needed to pull stuff to get that uh, chest. Well, he can't beat all of us. Do you wanna you wanna make a bet? I think I'm done. <laughs> Oh, bummer. I thought I couldn't beat all of you. Oh. That sucks, huh? That really sucks to be them. Oh, well. Oh, well. All right, we do want to go back through here, uh, I think. So I'm trying to get back to that spot with the vines that had the chest underneath it. I thought maybe it was a little further away, but what happens if we go down here again? This is just that sarcophagus room, right? So there's nothing here for us outside of... Yeah, yeah, there's nothing here except this, so we're good. Splinter says, don't forget to hydrate. Thanks, Splinter. I've been drinking water this whole time. I'm just better at it now, and I mute my microphone when I do it. making good progress though after this we have to go back to dathomir i think i'm not sure i can't remember i can't remember how far we are into the game that's kind of weird I'm trying to think well we have to go back to kashik so we can get that one thing that we missed and now that we have force pull we can go a few different areas of kashik as well so i'll have to go back there to get tarful How pathetic. Oh, it's shaking. What's shaking? I just pulverized a stormtrooper. That guy doesn't exist anymore. I think he's scared.
Oh, so cool. It gives it so much weight. All right, hi ho silver away. Talking to BD, help please. Much better, BD. Should I hear? Target's in pain. I need a stim, BD. I'll drop him. My enemy is agile. Oh no, couldn't get my stim out. So we're about maybe halfway through the game right now, I think, and I have most of the upgrades, which is pretty sick. Ugh, we have to go back to doing this. All right, we'll stop fucking around. I have quite a few books to catch up on now, uh, now that the, uh, now that the Ahsoka series trailer has premiered. I want to go through the Chiss Ascendancy books that detail, like, Thrawn's background. Uh, enemy! Did we scare you? No. I just wanted to turn this off. I guess that didn't kill it. Zoom. Okay. What? Ah! Oh no! I thought I could throw it. Narik says, I'm gonna switch to the group stream. Have a good night. Have a nice night, Narik. Thanks for watching. Kettle says, I meant to ask if you know whether the Ahsoka novel is any good. Um, it's fine. It's very YA. Um, however, if you watched Tales of the Jedi, you saw basically everything that happened in the Ahsoka novel. Um, because it was readapted for that. But if you just want something fun and Star Wars-y to listen to or, or read, you can just... You can read it. It's not a bad time. Go away! Ah. Uh. Stim, BD? Good work, BD. I don't know why I'm so stuck in this one Any little section. Let's do this. Oh, 
Come on, hop down. No, ah. Hey, BD. I did not know that would happen. So now we have like two other little things to do. We need to find our way back over there because that's where we actually want to go. So I think we just go through here and yeah, we force pull this vine and then zoom. Buddy. That stormtrooper is Fallen through the ground. There we go. The sage of this era demanded precious offerings. All right, let's end it. I'll let them kill that thing or get killed by that thing. Because if they're blasting it, it'll do damage to it, won't it? I think it will. Taking damage, so close that for now. Wait for them to take out the Jotaz. Let them do it. Let 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 them do the hard work. Work smart, not hard, right? Haha. <laughs> okay. He's wrecked. All right, what do we need to do with this? We gotta, we gotta throw this somewhere, right? Gotta be some use for that. That's just a tomb guardian. Oop! I didn't want to jump up there if I didn't have to. Aha, look at that. Okay. I think we skipped some backtracking. Or skipped some forward tracking? I'm not sure. Yeah, he's got absurd grip strength. Nice work, Cal. What is this? Is this just the... Uh-huh. Oh, so it's just like the area I was literally just in. Okay. Um. Okay. Question becomes, what are we using this for? I don't I don't fully understand or know. Punk. Not that. That's a it is a puzzle. It's a puzzle of some kind, but I don't know. I don't know what, what we want to use it for specifically. Guess we'll just have to figure it out. Huh? Yeah, no clue. This is where I went last time, anyway, so we'll be fine. Huh. <sighs> I'm just pleased with how much progress we're making in this. There's a lot of cool stuff going on in this game. Stuff that I just didn't remember, but really appreciate. Uh, 
Okay, here we go. So here we can do this and we'll use force pull up here to open the box. Kettle says, do you think you'll do a launch day stream for Survivor? Um, my gut says yes. I, I don't know why I wouldn't, which is, that's mostly what I mean by that. <laughs> I'm, I'm not 100% sure why, why that would be something I wouldn't do, but I also don't, don't really know what day the game is coming out on. I think it's the 18th. Which, still, I don't know what day that is, so I'd have to look into it um, to see if it's like a day that I'm working or something. But, um, but yeah, uh, I would love to do a launch day stream of Survivor. Um, the, I mean, the whole reason why I'm playing this right now instead of Fatal Frame is because I want to get this done and scheduled before Survivor. Um, because I don't really have uh, a lot of time for that. So, these are the remains of a Zaponian, a laborer who worked to death. Oppression. All right, the remains of a Zaponian, Zephonian laborer. They were overworked to the point of death. Wow, that's brutal. Sumi is. Evangel this is the Evangelion, Ava Unit 1, BD1? Dope. But why is why is pink the color? Because these are both the same out they're they're from the same set. I don't know what this is referencing. Oh, I guess you know what? This is probably referencing Mari's outfit, right? Yeah. That makes sense. So, okay. Cool. Ava colors. Let's let's do some fights real quick to try to get some more experience because we're really gonna need some. Give us a nice little chunk. We need to rest because I just don't have any. Uh, I don't have any stims. We won't uh, aggro that one this time. Unit 1 is probably my favorite mech design ever. I love the way that thing looks. I like some of the like Votom's designs too and, and some uh, early Gundam, UC Gundam stuff, but... There we go. Alright, what do we gotta do with this? Put this in here, but what does that do? You know, that's my question. Is this like a crazy puzzle? Is this gonna be a much longer puzzle than I realize? Let's try this. I think it is. So we go like this. Grab that. Walk over here. And, okay, so there's some stuff right there. Okay, that kills the water. Got it. Stim here, BD. Feeling better. Oh, there's a philac right there. Oh, 
Woof. Alright. Can we... Get this thing over there without... Oh, I see. See what a man must do. But I'm gonna gimmick it. I'm not gonna do that. We got lucky there. We're supposed to use the force field to get that to stick there, but... We got lucky. Poggers. Alright, um... Oof. Nice. We did it. We awoken the we we have awoken the tomb of Mictrol. Cal would like die rubbing against these gigantic shards of glass. Nice, got a skill point. How many do we have now? Do we have one or two?